With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Here, the given question is the value of limit n tends to infinity summation of 1 by n under root of n plus r divided by n minus r and r value goes from 1 to n. So, this is the question of integration as a limit of sum. So, to solve this type of question, we make some changes to change this limit n tends to infinity to the integration, right? So, what is these changes? Our first changes is we change summation as an integration. Second change is we take r by n as x and 1 by n as dx. And third one is what is the value of upper and lower limit because there is integration. So, upper limit is given by our upper limit is equal to basically limit and tends to infinity upper value of r upper value of r divided by n and fourth one is lower limit is given by our lower limit is basically equal to limit and tends to infinity lower value of r lower value of r divided by n so let's make these changes in the question here let's say our question is given by i is equal to limit and tends to infinity summation of 1 by n under root of let's see what is under root of n plus r divided by n minus r and the value of r is from 1 to n so let's make the changes so I can write this summation as limit and tends to infinity summation of r from 1 to n and it is 1 by n and now in numerator and denominator take n common then we have 1 plus r by n divided by 1 minus r by n right now make the changes so here our summation sign will change to integration and the lower our lower limit can be calculated as our lower limit here can be calculated as limit and tends to infinity lower value of r is 1 divided by n and 1 by infinity is 0 so here our lower limit is 0 and our upper limit sorry here upper upper limit is given by limit and tends to infinity upper value of r is n and so divided by n so it gives you 1 so right here upper limit 1 and here 1 by n write as dx in under root we have 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x now we change the question to the integration and now let's solve the integration to get the answer so here i can write our integration as now here let's write 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x and multiply and divide by under root of 1 plus x divided by under root of 1 minus x dot dx so we have our value further that is integration from 0 to 1 and now this become whole square so it gives 1 plus x and in denominator we have 1 minus x square dot dx so this can be written as integral from 0 to 1 1 divided by under root 1 minus x square plus integration from 0 to 1 x divided by under root of 1 minus x square dot dx so let's solve it now we know that the formula of the formula of 1 by under root of a square minus x square is given by sin inverse x by a right so here are these integration become equal to sin inverse x because the value of a is here 1 and its limit from 0 to 1 plus now here let's to solve this integration let's put 1 minus x square is equal to t and on differentiation both sides we get 2x dot dx is equal to dt so right here our integration become equal to here i am not changing limit right now so let's firstly solve the integration now here multiply 2 and divide by 2 then 2x dot dx become dt so here 1 by 2 and it becomes dt divided by it is become our under root t right so mm, our integral becomes sine inverse x 
whose limit from 0 to 1 plus 1 by 2 now integration of 1 by root t is 2 root t and its limit from 0 to 1 right so this can be equal to sine inverse sorry here this become equal to our sine inverse x and limit from 0 to 1 and this is equal to here 2 will cancel out 2 and put the value of t which is 1 minus x square and our limit for x is 0 to 1 we know now put the upper and lower limit now sine inverse 1 is we know pi by 2 minus sine inverse 0 is 0 plus now put the upper limit here on putting upper limit this gives you 0 and on putting lower limit this gives you 1 so our finally answer for the integral is pi by 2 minus 1 so we can say that the correct option is let's see here our correct option is our option 3 that is pi by 2 minus 1 for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today